Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Now, this hasn't really been a productive day for us today. It looks really nice and sunny up there, but we've basically, we drove a long way this morning to check out a river that I thought might be fishable. Turns out it definitely wasn't. And then we thought, well, we'll explore some other water over there while we were, uh, while we were over there, but that was really high as well. And then we got it was a bit cloudy then it was a bit cold and then it kind of started to rain uh so we bailed on that and we came back to topo and then we've got blue sky and sun it's pretty windy it's two o'clock we haven't caught anything oh no you caught a fish eh? Oh, I caught a fish. jared caught a fish about that big but it still counts what <laughs> what about, big. about that big oh a little bit bigger <laughs> <laughs> okay a little a bit bigger <laughs> it was a little bit bigger than that uh, and the fish. So yeah, we're, we're basically just going to eke out a couple of hours on here, see if we can find a couple of proper fish. Um, there's the old brown around. Jared's fishing to one right now. And I hooked very briefly and lost one. So maybe we can salvage a video out of here, who knows. But anyway, that's the plan. Try and catch one brown trout and or one other brown trout stroke rainbow. Actually, just anything will do at this point. That's uh, you up to speed. A lot of driving um, and not a lot of fishing. First of all, I'm sorry about this light. Um, the sun's basically over here, so it makes it hard to find some good light. But I just thought I'd quickly run you through what I'm using. If you can see this, I've got the Orvis Helios prototype here I've been testing out uh, in a five weight. I've got the Mirage LT size two reel, again from Orvis, which I love in the burnt orange. And then on here, we've got the Amplitude Infinity Smooth camo line from Scientific Anglers in a five weight. Attached to that, I've got um, seven foot floating poly leader down to a tippet ring and then I've got about seven foot of 3x to about three feet of 4x and then I've just basically got a uh, just a single nymph and I'm just going to go with that and try and find a fish I can see and then fish to it like that no indicator no dry fly nothing like that it's a super snaggy river so if you can get away with fishing one fly it makes sense to do so and that's it super simple really like as simple as it gets set up one fly then I'll probably add some split shot as and where I need to just to get the fly down to any fish I do see uh, and then of course if we come across anything up high in the water or something that needs nymphing with an indicator we'll chop and change as we go um, Jarrett is running his five weight setup uh, Scott Radian same fly line amplitude infinity smooth fly line and a five weight what reel do you have on there uh, Lamson Guru Oh yeah, a Lampson Guru reel, and then uh, again, seven foot floating poly leader to some tippet, I don't know what, to a big cicada, and um, quite a long dropper, because there's quite a lot of water in here still, even though it's clear, uh, and then just whatever, whatever nymph we decide to put on for whatever situation. And that's about it. And uh, yeah, see what happens. That's gonna be plenty of lead, should be on the bottom. It's a horrible rig to cast. Should be, eh? I'm gonna add more weight. I mean, there's got so much weight on here, but I don't feel the bottom at any point. 
And like you say, with those drifts, it should be bouncing off his nose if it's down there. I mean, if anything, he should be getting out of the way of the damn thing. I'll do a fly change in a second. Definitely got enough weight on there now. Ooh, thought that was him. So you'll see that. Got, oh! Damn it! No, I got him. Yeah, I felt him. Fricked him. He's back there. What? He's just moved. Oh, there's another one here. Look at that. Yeah, under this undercut bank again. Sort of. Kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Something like that. Oh, we ain't got that long. <laughs> tell me about it. <laughs> Too quick on the back cast. No, okay. Yeah, you've got a huge leader you've got to get to straighten out before yeah, you can no, start yeah. your change of direction. Better. Oh, no way! I didn't even see him eat. Good shit, bro. That's a great fish. Well done. I should have called that, but he didn't even move. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come this way and get your angles so he's not downstream of you. And then get your rod this way. Other way, other way. That's it. Shorten the leash, shorten the leash, shorten the leash. <laughs> it just come out. Wicked! Didn't even see that fish move, eh? No. Just literally went straight in her mouth. That was perfect. And then, uh, yeah, new personal bets. But yeah. yeah. Way to finish off the year, buddy. Yeah, Good man. Stuff. Cool fish. Big, thick head, yeah, shoulders thick head, yeah. back. And she's actually got room to put on some weight if she wants to. Yeah, she, yeah. Oh, she'll be a tank then. Drop yeah. down. Sweet. Let's go another one. And what's she eat? Uh, hair and copper. Hair and copper. How about that? This fish is super close, like too close to get a cast to properly. So I'm just kind of doing my best without trying to spook him. There's no way you didn't see that, mate. Ooh, I saw his mouth open then as well. Thought it was for my flies. But it weren't. Ah, that's in my hand. Karma. Bow and arrow all the way. Might work better. Ooh, he swung across. Ooh. Well, I say swung across. Gestured left. Oh, 
that went right in there. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> right, let's do a fly change. Oh yeah. Oh god. Oh god. It's pretty good. Now that guy over the back, that smaller fish, is actually feeding. Makes it really difficult when they won't actually move to eat a fly. <laughs> oh, that guy, that's a rainbow over the it's back. Rainbow, yeah. He almost took off the, off the top. Or oh, was it off, actually off the top? Yeah, it was off the top. Doing it, I made him more split shot. That was a terrible cast. Basically check nymphing, I hate myself. <laughs> Gonna be down his left hand side. Oh, one just up here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's on his face. Oh, he dropped back for that. Yeah, you got him. Oh, I do. Oh, I didn't expect that. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> oh. oh wow. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna make it. Yeah, I'm coming down. Yep. Yeah. Oh, steep. Oh. Wow. Yeah, not bad. Man, I've got, to, we've got to process that. So, I was fishing to a fish, and then I was about to do a fly change, and then you saw it just drop back. I saw it drop nowhere. back, yeah. Drop back. Just kind of park up in front. So I did a, I'll say a mediocre bow and arrow cast. Super short, like it literally landed on a head. Shouldn't really have got the eat, but it landed on a head, and then the fish just kind of dropped back a little bit. And I just thought he'd seen it at the last minute and dropped back a little bit. Yeah. And then was like, that was it. And then... As I lifted, you said yeah. yeah. You got it. And I lifted, and then she was just perfectly hooked in the, in the top of the mouth. Take it. I'll take it. That was a lot of fish. Oh, that was a great fish. She was heavy. Yeah. That's very similar to yours, I'd say. Six ish. Six ish. Some. Uh, yeah. Doesn't matter. It was wicked. I yeah. got nothing else to say to that, really. Just blown away. It was day a made. Good catch. Yeah, day, day made. made. That's super cool. Super cool. So, all that driving around this morning, all we had to do was come in. <laughs> <laughs> Right guys, we're out of here. We've decided to pull the pin, finish on that really good fish. Fish one more piece of water, well Jared did, and nothing really turned up there. Didn't see anything, and to be fair, we're kind of pretty much just done. <laughs> a good brown each, and that really made the day. But yeah, we worked all day for that. We drove a lot, 
we well we didn't really fish a lot did we no. um we just drove a lot walked a lot looked around a lot and then uh, you know just kind of ended up back here but as a good example of just even when it's not quite working out as you had hoped or you planned just stick at it perseverance pays off a lot of the time and yeah we got our we got our rewards for the for the work we put in which is cool great way to end the year it'll be the new year when you're watching this but this is actually new year's eve they were the last fish of the year which is awesome jared's personal best on a fly biggest brown on the fly someone's buying a whiskey yeah yeah, hope you enjoyed this one guys oh, we've got some rain coming in uh, again but hopefully it doesn't do too much to wreck the rivers and we get the sunshine back give me a thumbs up drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff so see you later jared yo see ya. have a great weekend everyone we'll see you on the next one peace